Today we're gonna tell you 10 more things you probably didn't know about your F-Series BMW. And if you stay till the end, there's a bonus. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. You guys seem to really like the five hidden features of the F30. So today, we're bringing you 10 additional features that are commonly found in the F33 series, the F32 4 series, and the F80s, F82s, and many others. So with that, let's get started. Now this first feature is going to apply for the F30 and also the F80. And as you can see, we're gonna demonstrate on the F80 because it has tinted windows. What does it mean when you have tint? It means you can't see when you're in reverse. But BMW thought ahead and they put these little lights under the handles. When you put the car in reverse, it's gonna provide extra light. Tip number two, while we're over here talking about reverse, there's a little switch over here. If you push this switch over to the left, what it's going to do is when you put the car in reverse, it's going to auto dip your passenger mirror, which is great if you're parallel parking. Now, the next thing we're gonna show you is gonna be over here on the F30 because it has a sunroof. Now, as you may know, with many BMW windows and sunroofs, they feature a one-touch activation, so all you need to do is just press it once. You don't actually have to sit there and hold it, but sometimes what's gonna happen is, say you're working on your car, you disconnect your battery with your sunroof open, it's not gonna work. So if you lose that one-touch functionality and you have to press and hold it, or maybe it's not quite shutting all the way, here's how you do the reinitialization process. So with your car on, you wanna press and hold the vent button, but don't let go. You're gonna to wanna to hold it for roughly 20 seconds or so, and then what's going to happen is this is going to close, and then it's going to fully open and fully close again, and then everything is successfully reset. So with that, just keep holding it. Again, make sure that the car is on or this will not work. And as you can see, I'm still just pressing and holding the vent button. It's opening, it's closing. Now let's test it out. Everything works great. Feature number four, if it's a nice day and you wanna vent your windows, all you need to do is press and hold the unlock buttons. And then after a couple seconds, all the windows are going to open. If you have a sunroof, you keep holding it, that is going to open as well. And the cool thing is, if you have comfort access like I do here, all you need to do to make the windows go back up is just put your finger here, hold it, and everything's gonna shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Speaking of comfort access, this car is equipped with it and my hands are full, but I need to get in the trunk. Well, all you need to do with your key in your pocket is just wave your foot under the car. It's gonna flash a couple times and make your life that much easier. Number six, there's a couple things in your trunk you may not have realized. First, there are grocery hooks up here. There's one on this side, one on this side. And next, maybe you get a flat tire, you need to access this. If you push it up, it stays because there's this cool little piece of plastic. And then to let go, you just press the button and it releases. Number seven, user profile. So maybe your wife drives your car and well, she has a different seating position than you. There's a way to save yours, but not only your seating position, but your mirrors and even your radio buttons. All right, so to keep the piece at home, we're gonna scroll down to settings and then you wanna go to profiles. And as you can see here, I have a profile for myself and one for my wife. And what this does is it's going to automatically save all of your um, your memory key buttons here. So I have like sport displays and some radio stations. And well, she likes different radio stations and doesn't really care about sport displays. So that's going to save. It's also going to save your seat positions and even your mirror position. So every time you get in the car, all you need to do is hit your profile and all of your settings are perfect the way you last left them. Then last, if you scroll the top, you can see you can import or export your profile. So if you have a perfect seat position, perfect radio stations and everything, you wanna make sure that you save it. You can export it to a USB to use, not only in your car, you can see if there's import, you can even use it in another car. Number eight, if your car has these little cutouts, your car is equipped with headlight sprayers. But how do you use them? 
<laughs> so now you know your car has headlight washers, but where's the button? So there's a little secret. What you need to do is you need to press and hold the uh, windshield spritzer button here three times. So you hold it, hold it, and then hold it. And then you're gonna start to see the mist. It gives out two powerful blasts and cleans those headlights. Number nine, say you like driving your F30 and you like driving it in sport. Well, what happens when you turn the car off and you forget to move the gear selector over? It does it by itself. And 10, maybe you have an issue with your cluster and you wanna do a reset, or maybe you just wanna reset it because it looks cool. So I had to do this because I had an issue where my, uh, my fuel gauge was kind of being a little funky, so I had to reset it. Uh, but anyway, you put the car in accessory mode, put off the brake, press the start stop button one time, then you're going to press and hold this button over here. And after about 10 seconds or so, you're going to see up here the service indicators and keep holding, don't let go. And then if you have a 6WB like I do, it's gonna appear here. Um, and then if you don't, it's going to appear down the bottom. But what you wanna do, you wanna to go to system test. So you just hit this one time. So if you remember our last video, this is where our dyno mode is. And you can see the information on your fuel tank and whatnot. But we want to go to the system test. So to start the test, you press and hold that button again. And it's going to pretty much just test out all the different colors. It's gonna light up everything. And if you have any issues or anything like that, this should help clear it up. Bonus! So maybe you're having an issue where your head unit is resetting, maybe it's freezing, or maybe it's just being kind of strange. So the way that you can reset this, there's a hard reset. All you do is you press and hold here on the volume button. Now, sometimes it takes up to about 20 seconds or so. But what's gonna happen is you're gonna see the screen, it's gonna go black, it's gonna fade to black and then it's going to restart and it's going to show you that intro animation again. And um, that a lot of times is going to help clear up some issues, but up um, oh, there it goes right there. So just keep holding, you can let go at this point. And it's going to refresh and hopefully that clears up any issues. Next is 12 volts. So you may see one, but most of these cars have four. So there's one here. There's one in the passenger footwell there's one in the back for your passengers, and then there's one in the trunk. Next, you may have realized this, you may not, but there's actually a driver's side glove box in a lot of these cars, which can hold your driving gloves. It's a driver's side glove box. What else would you put in there? <laughs> Next, if you live in an area where it gets really hot, this feature is for you. So say it's 100 degrees outside, well typically it's about 110, 120, even hotter in your car. But BMW thought ahead. If you go over to settings, and then what you want to do is you want to go up to climate. There's something called active comfort ventilation. And basically what this does is it will run your fan. Now it won't run cold air, it won't run hot air. It just gets the air moving so that when you open the door, it's not as hot in your car. So to do this, what you want to do, I'm going to go down to the timer here. Say you get out of work at 5 p.m. or so, you may want to set it for something like 450, just get the air moving, and then you can activate your timer. And basically what's going to happen is every day at 450, your car is just going to automatically kick on that fan. Again, it's not blowing AC, it's not blowing heat. It's just gonna get the air moving so it's not as hot when you get in your car. In the F30s, if you have your car in drive, you don't actually have to press the park button. All you need to do is turn the car off and it's going to automatically flip the park. Now you may know that to fold down your rear seats if you have this option, you just pull this lever here and pull this lever here. But did you know that most F30s you can fold down the middle seat? Now I'm not going to be able to fully demonstrate because as you may notice, we have a roll cage in the car. But here's how you do it. All you need to do is slide up the headrest and we actually took ours off for this, but there's a little button under here. You push this button and then you can fold this all the way down. Again, assuming you don't have a roll cage. And that's a great feature if you need to transport maybe skis, maybe a snowboard, golf clubs, or maybe a two by four. Once again, my name is Brian, and this has been 10 or 15, maybe 16 hidden features of the F-Series BMW. If we taught you something new, leave us a comment down below, or if we missed anything that we should have covered in today's video, also let us know. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.